Chris. Ashley. I forgot these two were in the game. Okay. Chris, what <laughs> yeah. Josh, Josh, what? They don't have that many, uh, he said, no, right what? in front of us, man. What are you talking There's about? There's a maniac. Maniac? Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. There's a maniac, and he was, there was a sign. Oh, it was fine. either him or Ash, and I, I don't know what oh, to do. They go right through him and spill it out fucking everywhere. What? Oh my god, Chris, what? And I, I killed him. Oh, How the hell could I save everyone? It was my fault, no, there's a way. This is huh. It's hard, but there's a way. We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> Matt, we need to go get help now. And we should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Fine. Fine, you're right. Get everyone else together, but if there's a maniac running around, I think we need to get some help, too, right? Not just wait around. But what about... Why are we still talking about this? Let's go! Look at that clown. I fucking hate that clown. He's got a saw. Yeah. <laughs> Hello again. Things are getting pretty tense up there, aren't they? <laughs> Is it not going the way you hoped it would? No, it's not. <clears throat> I see. And you think that these poor people are getting what they deserve? What do you want? Who are you? I'm trying to help you in this game you're playing. You understand that it's not good for you. It's not good for anyone. No oh, shit. And I can't say that you're showing much loyalty in the way you're playing. Fucker. Okay. Yeah, it's it's really complicated to save everybody. Do you intend to continue with this elaborate self-indulgence? Do you even believe that I am real? Oh. Part of the problem, it all comes down to this. Can you really tell the difference anymore? I doubt it. Thank you, my love. So. This guy. Trademark. So she got dropped the shaft. Josh is killed. <sighs> Thanks a lot for reminding me. A lot of things. None of them nice. Then quit it. <laughs> Here's our one way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath. In oh, my yeah, so wall. just a heads up. Since the saw. Oh, you do this! Since you said you didn't Josh, even though Jessica! you killed him. Ashley's I, really just, I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit. Ruins my chance. There's one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? This is nice. This sanatorium is kind of big. This is kind of a long section. But it pays off really well. That's not good. That's really not good. Poor dog. <laughs> now, the animal models in this game for the wolf and dog, they are not that good. Still, 
is a story. So who do you think is gonna die next? If I'm playing as Mike, I hope I don't kill him. Unless uh nah she's dead. So unless Jess is alive. I fell. I did all the risky stuff, man. Didn't make it. Dude, this Santa did you ever play Metal Gear Solid 5? No. This sanatorium reminds me of the hospital in the very beginning of that game. I didn't even know you could go over there. It's yeah, probably a totem or something. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find. Or not. Oh, or what's that? Oh, or, yeah, there it is. It's probably the only thing there, though. Ah. So don't open the door or look at the door. I can't tell exactly what that means. Me neither. But most of those are super vague because you don't have the context. Dude, you can hear the wolves. That's pretty cool. I never paid attention to that. So there's a church in here, the chapel. I think, uh, it's, it's in there. Yeah, it's in there. Did you get in the bone? So you need uh, something to put in there. So you gotta explore around here a little bit. Okay. So uh, go to the left over there. Which on uh, yeah, the Yeah, the admin? Yeah, okay. Because you, you might get lost in here because it's kind of big. Oh, actually, what's that? The Blackwood Pine Sanatorium, open 1922. Men sana incorpora sano. Sana sana colita de rana. I don't know what that means. He's laughing for something. This place has been closed down for a very long time, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Someone really wanted to take a peek inside. Clocking in my car. Yeah, look at that. That's it, though. It's not the security pass, though. I don't think there's anything else in there. Stuff. 
yeah, it's a, this is a pretty big place. We're gonna go back to it a couple times. Huh. Yeah, Alberta Post, 9th, January 9th, 1952. Reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Blackwood Pines, AB. A reporter from Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized this way by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The men had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jason, Jefferson Bragg, a sole proprietor in the both North and West Mining Company, the Blackwood Sanatorium told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that a full internal inquiry had been launched. Those who claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on the sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. So, basically, one of the security guards at this place punched a reporter for sniffing around. What for, though? For having oh, a camera. okay. But that was, like, in the 60s. Yeah. Let's see. Go right over Ooh, that's a weird camera angle. One of those guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen. My Minor bad. medical report, attending physician, Dr. Bowen. Medical report report follows the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and the subsequent rescue of Blackwood Pines. On recipient of the 12 patients at the sanatorium medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men, startled and confused. Thankfully, Miners appear cogent, cogent and relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men, as predicted as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Physiologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing in the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchioscopy and, as prescribed, are a course of steptomycin. The others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. Okay. And then one of them tried to bite them. Yeah. That is a weird camera. Right? You got a weapon now. Training chair. What happened here? That butt is fresh. Can't go in? No. Twisted fuckers like to watch, I guess. Yeah, that's it. So many weird, creepy noises yeah, in this place. Yeah, I don't understand why. Oh, 
us are safe. How many days uh, will they this keep is, us what here? Could uh, who? Who the hell would it? Who's that? Pictures uh, of women. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Well, that's that's what I mean. Tell us about Incident what update: Twelve survivors received paradise. at sanatorium showing signs of mental trauma. They need to contain. Local press now has scent of blood. Becoming a problem. Please advise further. I say, just want to keep the news out about these twelve guys. Yeah. That's a good camera angle, though. Yeah. This is light here. Yeah, this is kind of weird, this there. Can't pick it up. Oh, fucking rat. Oh, okay. So that was basically, if you never got the, the chair, this would have been another hint to go oh, back to get it. Okay. It does do that, I think only in this area really though. Was that a totem? Was that trip? It could be. Oh, no. No. Okay, I don't want to see you keep moving go forward. Now, I'm just going to save you right here. Don't grab that hand. If you grab it and you fail, you're going to lose two fingers. Then no. If you grab it and you don't lose your two fingers, you're going to lose half of your machete. What? And then one of the dogs will come by, or one of the wolves. This place just gets better and better. Yeah, I remember the first time I played it, I was talking to somebody like, yeah, just grab the hand. And you just, <laughs> a bear trap comes out. That goes back to the chapel. Well, go ahead and grab that. It's a morgue, right? Yeah. So, bodies get cremated. Well, not cremated, but they're um, okay. on that. It's a tag. That might be the security. Oh, no, never mind. Huh? Nicholas Bowen, attacked by inmate, federal lacerations to throat. He left? Oh. I believe that was a reporter. Oh. Who is this one? Oh, look at that. Sarah Smith, I hereby certify that I attended the seas from March 8th, 1951 to February 24th, 1952, the last saw her live on February 24th, okay. Caused the severe lacerations to the abdomen, intra-abdominal injuries, subsequent blood loss. If death was due to external causes, violence, fill in most of the following. Accident, okay. Manner of injury, laceration by sharp implement, possibly fingernails. Additional notes, please use the box provided overly for any additional relevant information. Oh no, that was the doctor. Bowen was the doctor. Additional notes, body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. The fuck? Oh, no. Shit's getting real. Went more insane than the rest. That's a fresh body. Yeah. Uh, 
up, so fucked up. There's the punch card for the chapel. Say nothing. No, no, you just need it. Okay, let's we'll check this out. All right, the door to get out of there, it's right over there. Okay. That, that will take you back to the chapels. Oh, wait, what's, oh, no, that was the head. That was the head. Yeah, so you basically go back in a full circle. Must have taken forever, though. Yeah, it's not the fastest response, but yeah. if you do it right, you do it right. I think they purposely did it on purpose like that, just to raise the tension. Yeah. This time you're basically upstairs. I think it'd be. Isn't this a quaint little psycho crib? Yes, yeah, I think that guy actually lives there. Oh, what about the other guy? The other guy seems like the carnivore. You can go downstairs. Oh. Then I think you'll be actually at floor number. Or you have to drop down. Back in here. And that door is basically where you came from. I believe that was the door that you were kind of peeking through. That's the chapel, isn't it? Oh no, yeah, yeah, go there. Yeah, you're right. Now you can actually enter. Because you have the punch card. I still can't believe they put that stupid hand there. Yeah. Like, you have no idea, dude. You actually lose... Mike will lose two fingers. I know. If you punched him, I think he would bite you. I bet. Good thing I saw that totem. That's a jacket. What have we here? Oh, there's a gun in there, too. Yeah. You can eventually get it. Or you might be able to get it now. If you do something. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, you can. You have to get the key to get in there. Oh, never mind. Smart guy. Yeah. Nice. It's a microwave. Fucking freak. Bigfoot sighted. Local man found dead. Footprints found. 14 missing in the mountain. Miners. Picture of the miners. Yeah. Liars. Get out. <laughs> you got stuck. Oh yeah, you can go through his stuff, I think. Lift it up. Get one of the bones and give it to the dog. Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy. It's gonna be my friend now.
Yeah, there's nothing over there. Yeah, all the other places. I think you might... Oh. No, you can't. And that's right around where you jump down from. And then the wolf should be right there. <laughs> the wolf is <laughs> so ugly. Yeah. Read that if you find like a random dog and you want to pet him, don't actually go from above the head. Yeah. Go from under yeah. and then go. Oh, because it shows dominance. Yeah. Everyone likes a little loving, right? I think you can go like right there and look through some of his stuff. Oh, look, there's something on there. Yeah. Uh, oh, the cigar. Remember the cigar you found earlier? Yeah. It was his. I think that's it though. This is down microwave and stuff. But now you can that's go. That's a radio. Oh, radio, my bad. I heard that's actually really dangerous to do. Oh, the ricochet. Yeah. Oh, why do you use the gun? That's just loud. This ain't no metal either. Uh -huh. I don't know what's actually here. Looks like a doorway, right? Black. Um, totem? Could be a totem? Yeah, it's a totem. Oh, it's white. Never mind, it's black. Yeah. Boom, that's how you can kill yourself. Ah. Uh, Lighting yourself on fire. Take out him. At least he's covering his face. He knows. Oh no. Oh, I killed myself. I just saw this. That was him going with a lighter like that. So you just locked the door. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. And then there's these two. The most forgettable bunch of the whole group. Dead. I can't believe how he died. No, yeah, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never find to see them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see I think see there's a totem yourself. all the way to the left, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. There's something there. The yellow thing? Yeah. Or not. Okay, never mind. Oh, oh yeah, it was. It's still fresh. That was a bucket of paint. Oh, there it is. Uh, black? Yeah, it's black. Yeah. 
falls off a cliff. Awesome. Don't fall off a cliff. Look, an axe. I feel better with an axe. Huh. Someone's trying to get, get inside. On it. That's weird. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about. Look! What? The window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. No, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Help me through or smash the door. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> it's a talent. Fine, let's do it. Hmm. Oh, she can definitely fit through that. Yeah. Yeah, that she's that fat and shit. Ah, uh, damn it! Uh, on. She's faithful. Uh, it is not that hard to climb up. I know. Oh my god! It's pitch black. I do not like this. I'm right here, Em. I can't see anything. There's so much crap. There's so much crap. So your romantic went out funny. Emily's going down though. Yeah. <laughs> went down with Jess too. Been here, I keep bumping into It's okay. Can you find the latch? Oh, Anything. Oh no, man, I think there's spiders in here. Okay. Be careful. It's hard to be careful when it's freaking pitch black, you dead. Hey, I'm I'm just trying to be helpful. Almost. I think. Almost. Ugh. Okay, so die. There. Uh, I guess you should have been waiting at the door. Wow. Still going over there. I think she's pissed now. Check what your relationship is like. I don't know. Oh no, it didn't go down. All right, what the hell was that? What? I'm in the pitch black with spider webs and dust, and ugh, you just go wandering off. Em, I just. Don't M me. This is a complete and total breakdown of even the slightest glimmer of trust I might have had that you can protect me from the bad things that are oh out God. here. And I am just majorly bumming out. I'm just gonna get taken. I'm really sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, well, see, you were thinking for one thing. Ignore the kids in the background. They're just gonna be yelling. Uh, because they're playing and stuff. Nothing, nothing bad, nothing terrible. Anyway, so uh, at this point in the game, uh, since this is his first time playing, I think he I think he thinks the game's gonna climax right here. I don't think he the he thinks the game's gonna go higher, but he thinks we're gonna end here. Game's just ramping up. Like it's just ready to go. Oops, that's not I should not do that. I think it's it's going to the climax. I'm gonna find out a lot of things. Probably get some more people killed. Even though I'm not trying to, you know, I accidentally kill Josh. <laughs>